Yo, what is going on, you bald basculins? Today, we're going to be playing some games with Mega Ray. It's been a while since this deck has actually been viable at all, um, but with some new additions from the last couple sets, it definitely has some more life in it than it used to. The triple acceleration energy, we've had this for a little while, um, but it's a big reason that Mega Ray is a contender. You don't have to rely on that Mega Turbo anymore, which was so annoying to try and uh, combo with to actually be attacking with Mega Ray on turn two or something like that. Um, so that's a big reason Mega Ray is seeing some life once again. Uh, another reason though is the Guzman Hollow, which allows us to search for a stadium card, special energy, and a tool card all in one card so we can get our sky field, our triple, uh, our <laughs> triple acceleration energy, and a tool if we want like the yeah, spirit link but sometimes we need a choice band to hit a little bit of higher numbers and sometimes we need a float zone to move our active and the reason we do play choice bands in here alongside the rayquaza spirit links is because we do play the magirna with the change clothes ability you may put a pokemon tool attached from one of your pokemon into your hand um so we can attach the spirit link you know mega evolve it take the spirit link back and then attach a choice band and then swing for that extra 30 damage which is a big de big deal for this deck to actually take knockouts on tag team decks um and yeah that's about all i have to say on the deck i mean besides that we got like two chorus one end one ace roller one guzma we do play the guzma but we also play two great catchers so we can be a little bit more aggressive uh in our play we can chorus for like i don't know eight cards maybe do a couple shamans i don't know get a great catcher get the full combo to one shot something off their bench instead of hitting their active um, so that's pretty nice to have that as an option. Uh, but it's really cool in the deck. As always, we can search our deck, you know, for some drop power shaman. We need to set up a Rayquaza. And then we can also get the Jirachi, which can get us the Guzman Hollow, which can get us everything else we need to uh, set up on our turn. So overall, the deck is super cool with how it kind of functions and works together. Uh, I'm a big fan of all the synergies in the deck. And it's just, it's a lot of fun to play. That's really all I got to say on it anymore. Yeah, it's a lot of fun to play. Definitely would recommend trying it out. Let's go ahead and play some games. All right, we're up against the Ultra Necrozma, everyone's new favorite deck. I have to imagine this matchup can be a little bit difficult, but I'm actually not too worried about it. We've got a pretty good starting hand here. Should be able to easily get a turn one knockout on this Ultra Necrozma. We can compress her away a Hoopa and then shut her back and get the Baby Ray. Um, and then probably another Baby Ray, and then a Shaman, or we could get Jirachi Shaman. Actually, that's probably a little bit better to get Jirachi Shaman. That way we get a Supporter for sure for the turn, use the Shaman, see what we get, and then probably Jirachi. We could also discard the Egg plus Shaman. I don't know. We'll see what our top deck is as well. That'll also affect what we do on our turn. But yeah, it is the Mega Raid deck, or the Ultra Necrozma deck that uh, is oh so popular right now. But yeah, we're definitely going to get rid of Upa and... Uh, well, then we're gonna shut her back and get rid of the egg. Um, and we can get Jirachi for the supporter, so I don't really want to get rid of that. Could get rid of. I don't think I'll need the choice bands in this matchup, but I might, so I kind of want to hold on to those. I want to hold on to all those for sure. Acerola is a big deal in the matchup. So I guess I'll get rid of Acerola, that way we can be a seeker for Acerola very easily. Alright, so we're gonna go like that then. And yeah, we're gonna stretch her for one. I'm gonna grab our Hoopa. I'd be careful of putting too many items in the discard pile as well. We are up against uh, Trash Alanche here in this matchup, it looks like. They don't always play Trash Alanche, but this guy is definitely playing the Trash Alanche. Um, so, gotta be careful with that. Alright, here we go. Rayquaza, Spirit Link, Evolve, Triple Acceleration Energy, and I'm just gonna go ahead and throw out the Sky Field right now. Get that out of our hand. Let's draw one more card off this Shaman. There we go. Hit him with the setup. Get that four cards. Then we have the Jirachi to probably get a some kind of draw supporter. Um, I think it'll depend on what this trainer mail trainer's mail gives us. There's the float stone, so we're already moving our active as well. We're actually in a really good spot here. Oh my goodness. Um, so I think I'm just gonna go ahead and grab a Colrus here to use for the turn. We don't need to use a Guzman Hala. I'm just gonna go with the Colrus. We got one, two, three, three items in our discard pile trying to keep it small we're trying to keep it low not too many items low to the ground um i'm gonna go ahead and propagate here ultra ball i'm gonna go ahead and get the change clothes gearna i think we could go for a shaman setup instead um definitely get rid of n plus egg though yeah, i think i want the change clothes gearna so i can move that spirit length because uh, we did prize the spirit link, so finding the other spirit link might be tough. We're about to get our, what's it called, shut off here coming up. We do have the blower in hand, though. 
I could go again and set up again before our abilities get shut off. Um, yeah, I'm fine with that. Shoot. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and use another shaman here. We'll keep the sky field. Um, so we can go, because we might have to go like bump, uh, not only lower the tool, but also bump Silent Lab at the same time. So we want to keep the stadium as well. Okay, there's a spirit link. There's another mega ray. And then I am gonna, oops, treat to the mega ray. And then I'm gonna change clothes, uh, remove this, put that on the other ray. And then, see, one, two, three, throws five in our discard pile. I'm actually gonna go ahead and propagate right now, just in case I wanna use the Ultra Ball. I probably won't, but you never know. And then we're gonna go ahead and Emerald Break and knock out this Ultra Necrozma and then go from there. Yeah, so it's important to keep the Spirit Links alive because if we're gonna be using Ace Arola and chaining the Mega Rayquazas, having access to the, what's it called, is actually a big deal. Access to the Spirit Links on our benched Rayquazas is a big deal. There we go, there's the Shredder, gonna get the Ultra Necrozma back. Yeah, so our game plan, like I said, gonna be use Ace Arola. We haven't found it yet, um, which is kind of unfortunate. But the game's not over or anything, so we have plenty of time to find our Via Seekers for our Ace Arola. Start to utilize that. There's an ADP. That's going to be a little bit annoying to deal with, but we can two-shot that for three prize cards, which sounds pretty good to me. But then they will be able to one-shot us with their uh, Ultra Necrozma. Um, so that's going to be a little bit annoying. Uh, I wasn't sure if I should expect an ADP or not. We do not, we do not have a way to one-shot an ADP, actually, unfortunately. Yeah, we can't one-shot ADP uh, at all. So that's unfortunate. Uh, but we're going to do our best. There's the Altered Creation. Uh, I do kind of want to get rid of this Float Stone and that Choice Band, though. So I think I might blow her right now, which means we will lose access to abilities for the rest of the game. There's no way we're going to be chasing that Garbodor down anytime soon, I don't think. But making sure this thing doesn't one-shot us and stopping this thing from just moving to the bench sounds pretty good to me so i think i am going to go with that here get rid of these two and then uh, we're gonna go ahead and hit our opponent with the emerald break kind of regretting discarding that colrus when i did but i was using a shaman setup to do it i guess i could have gotten rid of the skyfield and set instead and kept the colrus in the hand definitely would have been able to utilize the colrus here that is for sure um, so yeah, definitely regretting it a little bit. There's a Guzma and Hala, so that will lead to a Float Stone and a Double Dragon Energy. Uh, or there just actually looks like they might just go with the Ultimate Ray here instead um, to go ahead and hit us for 180. This is definitely, I prefer this to, this to happen every, every, uh, every time. Um, yeah, I don't really care if this is going to be their turn right now with, uh, with that. Yeah, this is fine with me. Their turn is just hit us. For 180. I'm okay with that. And the Guzman Hala thinning them out to only one card in hand. They're not knocking us out this turn. Uh oh no, they got a choice band. They are knocking us out. Wait, how much more are they doing? No, they're not knocking us out. Alright, they use that so we can get rid of some of these. Um, annoying Pokemon on our bench. That seems fine to me. I want to keep the guy with the float stone in play. Yeah, they could hit us for 210. There's not quite 220, so the choice band doesn't quite get there, but they do have the choice band for the next guy there. There's the ultimate ray. I doubt they're actually gonna go ahead and get anything. Yeah, nothing to come out of the deck. All right, we draw another sky field. Not ideal. Um, I think I will go ahead and throw it into play though. Um, attach this and then emerald break for the knockout. We'll get three prize cards. Hopefully they're good enough to get us back into the game. Um, we'll see here. A Guzman Hala, that can get us the special energy. Hoopa, not very useful and a spirit link okay so eh, one of us gets us the energy so that's all we really need to keep going and our deck is getting pretty thin at this point and has a lot of via seekers left in it so hopefully we draw via seekers sometime soon there's an n i guess i could have played down a couple more cards as hand. i could have played down the choice band on i don't know the magirna and then bench the other egg here we go special charge plus trainer's mail trainer's mail should find us a via seeker here we have uh four via seekers left in the deck um, we can't utilize Guzma and Hala, unfortunately, if we do draw Guzma and Hala. Um, so that's unfortunate. Yeah, they're going to get the knockout here. Only four card hand left on our opponent's side, and we need to take two knockouts to close out this game. Um, yeah, I should have gone Choice Band to Magirna. Bench the, uh, what's it called? Definitely a misplay on my part. Wasn't overly thinking about it. Wasn't really thinking about getting end on my next turn, which you always should be in Expanded. You should always assume your opponent has end when you get down to the low prize card count. So just assume you're going to get end at some point. There's the choice band, trainer's mail, no via seeker. So now we are definitely in trouble on this one. 
I'm gonna go ahead and special charge twice here, put all the energy back in the deck, but I think uh, my misplays have unfortunately led us, are going to unfortunately lead us to a loss here uh, in this one. They're gonna find extra prize cards every turn. They have another choice band, I don't know. I'm just gonna retreat to the Magirna, let the Magirna get knocked out. But yeah, I think we have lost here in the end. My, uh, my mistakes, though, have led us here. There's a Guzma. Gonna bring up our Hoopa, gonna knock out our Hoopa for the last three prize cards. All right, we're taking a loss here to the Alternate Krasma Garbodor deck. Um, but um, it was close. You know, there's the LA game end. We didn't draw out of it. We had quite a few outs, not quite enough. It is hard to deal with the ability lock in this matchup for sure as well. So probably overall a pretty tough matchup. Did our best, got close, not quite enough though. Gonna take a loss here in the first one. All right, we got a pretty interesting hand. Uh, we're going first as well, and we got a pretty interesting hand so far up against the Aromatis deck, I would assume here. Got an N. I might just go ahead and throw out the N here because this hand is so clogged down. Yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and play the N. Uh, not worth shaming for one three times in a row to only have kind of no uh, progress built there. There's the computer search, which we can use to go get a Hoopa. I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of a special charge, I think, and the Colrus. Go get the Hoopa. Let's see, there he is. Grab the Hoop guy, and then Scoundrel Ring. I'm go ahead and grab ourselves a, this guy, a, this guy, and a Shaman. Colrus is not that good in this matchup. We could go for that, but yeah, we should go for the Shaman, I think, here. Um, I don't think we're gonna shame in this turn. We're gonna save it for the next turn. We're just gonna go ahead and go bench evolve active, um, bench, yep, yeah, and then mega evolve the active because we can mega evolve with it on our first turn, thanks to it, thanks to its ancient trait. Um, so yeah, we're all set up, ready to go to one shot some guardians on the next turn. Uh, the one thing about this matchup is the guardian players do play fighting fury belt, uh, which makes them a little bit too tanky to knock out, even with the choice band. So. Uh, we do need a little bit extra to actually take the one shots. There's a cutie fly, so they are going to be protecting their bench as well in this one. But we do have field blower, was what I was going to say. We do have field blower that can get rid of the fighting fury belt. So they play the Rabambi to protect their bench from the Guzma. Uh, unfortunately for our opponent, we play great catchers, so it's not going to be as big of a deal for us in this one. There is a fairy song, all right, that will not lead to uh no fighting fairy belt that's basically what i wanted to say there. i don't know what i was what i was going for while i was talking but they don't have a fighting fairy belt so uh yeah i like this skyfield gonna go out we do need to find quite a bit here but uh definitely doable uh currently not close but uh you know with a couple good draws um we're not even close yet um it's gonna be the via seeker for the chorus and we're gonna need a lot so we're probably not one shotting this thing hopefully we just find at this point i'm just hoping we find a triple to actually punch this thing there's an ultra ball that can push both those there's a triple um so we can go ultra ball get rid of these two we're gonna go ahead and grab ourselves a shaman of course shaman um and then i will trainer's mail here there's mail gonna go ahead and grab us the choice band okay it's looking up now for that one shot attach attach and the set up for six actually well, it was a second hoop of prize i could have grabbed second hoop instead um because now all of a sudden we're stuck well if second hoop was in there i definitely misplayed we're gonna go ahead and hit this guy as hard as possible with the emerald break don't know what kind of healing shenanigans healing shenanigans he's gonna use on his next turn so we just want to hit it as hard as possible 180 is not too bad um yeah i if there was a second Hoopa in the deck, I definitely misplayed there by Ultra Balling for Shaman instead of Hoopa, which could have grabbed three Pokemon and then have the deck a little bit more to increase the Trainer's Mail doing stuff. And then we could have grabbed like double Shaman or even triple Shaman uh, and then just uh, easily filled up our bench with the Hoopa. Um, so, oops, my bad on that one. Um, but hopefully, won't be too big of a deal. Hopefully, we'll still survive. Moving their energy back to the Cutie Fly. There is the max potion, of course. I mean, that is how their deck operates, so no surprise there. And then it looks like, yeah, the Seeker for the Cynthia. Cynthia, six new cards. Once again, we're hoping our opponent does not find the uh, oh-so-annoying Fighting Fury Belts. We do play a Field Blower. Actually, it is in our hand, I just realized. Um, so it wouldn't be the worst thing if they do, but uh, we only have the one Field Blower. So then getting through the next Guardian, and the next Guardian is where it can get 
way more difficult. Here comes, I think, the Rabambi. Also, they have the Rabambi line in here, so it's possible they just might not play Field Blower. I guess that is a possibility, is that our opponent just does not play Field Blower. Um, unlikely, I think, but uh, definitely possible. Uh, or not Field Blower, Fighting Fury Belt. Sheesh, we play the Field Blower. I guess their Field Blower would be kind of annoying too, because it would get rid of our Choice Band. It's possible they don't play Fighting Fury Belt. That's what I wanted to say. That's what I meant to say. That is now currently what I am saying. Possible they don't play Fighting Fury Belts, um, which would be interesting. Um, and we could definitely take advantage of that. And we would definitely hope that they don't. Move all their energy to the bench, I believe. And if they do do this, we will use our great catcher to bring up that uh, <clears throat> Guardian off the bench and knock it out. So that way our opponent can't actually do anything. Go ahead and get rid of this. Uh, I think if we just get rid of a Guzma and Hala, no, we wouldn't be able to fill our bench if we got rid of Guzma and Hala, right? Um, got real fast. Mm, yeah, Guzma and Hala would not allow us to fill our bench, so we need to get rid of, a, we need a little bit more than that. So I, maybe I'm just getting rid of the egg here. I want to leave just the two Guzma and Hala's in the deck as Guzma and Hala's. Um, yeah, I actually think I want the rest of this stuff in the deck. Um, so we're just getting rid of the egg. All right. So that's going to have to do. All right. Propagate. And then we will great catcher away the spirit link and the egg. Bring up the other guardian. And then I will bring the egg back so we can draw that extra card and hopefully draw into enough bench Pokemon to get this knockout. That's this guy. And then Colrus, we are drawing nine. We need two Pokemon and a triple acceleration energy. There's the triple. There's only one Pokemon, though. So once again, we whiff the knockout. We can go ahead and use this Magearna to save this choice band, though, because we're not getting the one shot. So we don't need that on the active. So once again, big whiff. Uh, yeah, big whiff. Here we go. We're going to swing again for just short of the knockout. Um, <clears throat> we, if we had the choice band on there, we would have been hitting... For 240, if we had one more bench Pokemon, it would be 270 for the KO. Fortunately, we are a little short once again, and we're going to have to come up with some more damage on these next couple turns. Thankfully, we still have the Field Blower, which is nice. Um, it means we're still going to be able to get a one-shot. Moving all the energy back, here comes Acerola or Max Potion or a Z. Something to heal the Guardian once again, or the Guard 4. There's the Acerola. All right, so we're going to have to do this all over again. Um, hit the thing and or use the chorus hope for enough stuff to get the one shot once again and now we have this item on here instead of the choice band um, so we need a mega ray as well so a top deck of a ultra ball or the mega ray itself would be great we could ultra ball away probably two sky fields i guess it's kind of our our discard choices are kind of unfortunate here because um, I don't want to run out of Skyfield. I don't know how many stadiums they actually play. They haven't played down any yet. Usually this deck plays quite a few stadiums. There's our draw. All right. It's going to have to be Via Seeker or Colrus once again. Play the Colrus. Hope to get... Oh, we have another Great Catcher, actually. So we are going to use the Great Catcher. We're going to go Great Catcher. Skyfield, Skyfield, I think. Yeah, we have one more Skyfield left, which could lead to the winning play. And then Colrus... Still need quite a bit, but we have two Shavens left. We have plenty of Ultra Balls left, so we should be able to clear out the hand and draw everything, absolutely everything we need. All right, we pretty much got there. Um, we need to Ultra Ball away uh, Guzma and Hala and the Spirit Link, I think. Get rid of these two. No Mega Ray. Okay, we don't have the Mega Ray, all right? So we need to get the Mega Ray as well, which means we need to get Stretcher. I'm going to go ahead and grab the Shaman. Uh, Floatstone over here, bench the Oranguru, and then set up for two, and, well, we prize two Mega Ray, so it has to be into the Stretcher right here, right now, off the Shaman, set up for two. Has to be the Stretcher, no Stretcher, no way to get it. We can Field Blower the Skyfield, put Skyfield back in play, and then set up again, so that is going to be our game plan now. So Field Blower, get rid of Skyfield and our opponent's Floatstone. Uh, we're going to go ahead and ditch Egg, Egg, Shaman. New Skyfield comes out, and then we set up once again for three, needing that Rescue Stretcher. And not there yet. Uh, we could thin out the deck a little bit more by using the Jirachi. Um, then we, like, risk running out of Pokemon. All right, we're just going to do it. Jirachi, yes. 
Go ahead, give me the Guzma and Hala. There is the rescue treasure that we need. Get the Guzma and Hala. And trainer's mail into no rescue stretcher. Okay, well, I think we lose here. Uh, kind of series of unfortunate events for sure has led to this point where uh, we just prized two Mega Ray. And then we dug through pretty much our whole deck. Couldn't find our rescue stretcher. Weren't able to attack any time earlier. And yeah, that's it. This one's a loss. That is super unfortunate, but sometimes you just kind of get unlucky. All right, we got a... Ridiculously good looking start here in this one. We open the Rayquaza. We already have the Hoopa Double Spirit Link, Shaman Orangaroo Egg. Uh, we did Mulligan twice apparently, but that's uh, that's fine. We'll go ahead and search our deck for this guy, and then two of these. Um, Mega Evolve them both right here, right now. I'm gonna go ahead and use First Man Well, before we do anything else, there's an end, so we can also limit. The bonus cards our opponent drew off of our mulligan, so we are, yeah, this is actually just ridiculous. Um, ridiculously good draw. I am gonna put down the Oranguru and set up. I definitely want to try and find an Ultra Ball to try and get this egg into the discard pile. I don't really want to bench the egg, but an Ultra Ball would be super nice. Uh, another treasure mail. There's that Ultra Ball I was talking about. And we're gonna get rid of the Float Stone and the egg here. Definitely want to keep the Sky Fields around like that. And I'm gonna go ahead and get the change clothes Magirna into play. I have no idea what we're up against, but we definitely want to probably preserve one of the spirit links for sure. And then uh, have the option to get the choice band into play as well. So definitely want to go play it out like that. Yeah, we're gonna go ahead and uh, change clothes, take the spirit link back, save it for later, and then uh, pass over to our opponent. Yeah, and the rest of the hand looking super good. Got the Guzman Hollow for the Skyfield, and then we can get down another Shaman with the Ultra Ball. Fill up our bench, and then just kind of roll from there. We'll see what our opponent's playing. Of course, it is the Ultra Necrozma deck. I should have just kind of assumed, I guess, at this point. It's really the only deck going around right now is the Ultra Necrozma deck. It seems like no one is playing anything else um, besides the Ultra Necrozma deck. Of course, super popular out here in on the Expanded Ladder. Ninja Boy from our opponent. There is a Mimikyu. A interesting tech our opponent's playing. It's going to be a retreat pass and then the Filch. So super cool, creative way to get themselves some cards here. I like that. I like to see that. And uh, yeah, back over to us, I guess. Um, change clothes doesn't really do anything. I think I'm just going to go ahead and attach the Triple Acceleration Energy. I will, you know what I will do? I will change clothes, take this thing off here. And I'm going to go ahead and stash it here actually on the Rangaroo. That's a triple, I'll keep one in the deck. Um, could we just keep this hand actually, or should I Colrus for more cards? I really wanna find Ace of Rolla. It's the main thing I'm looking for here, so let's go ahead and use this. There's Computer Search, that finds Ace of Rolla. So I think I am just gonna go ahead and uh, I will propagate. I was about to say just go ahead and Emerald Break, but actually I want the option of that to discard that instead. Um, actually, I should have maybe just kept the Spirit Link in hand. I forgot we're about to get ability locked here. Um, and then Emerald Break, our opponent's Mimikyu. Um, yeah, we got the computer search. We can find the Acerola, which is great. Um, if I hadn't found any way to find Acerola off that trainer's mail, I probably would have played the course to try and find a way to find the Acerola. Um, but we should be all good now. This will find us the Acerola. Play the Acerola for the turn. Heal our Mega Guardian. Yeah, there's the teammates. I expect that we'd be getting hit somehow by the Ultra Necrozma this turn. Maybe they're going to go with the ADP if they play that. Um, that wouldn't be too big of a shock if instead of, uh, what's it called? Yeah, there is the ADP. As I'm saying it, there he is. Just going to go with the, what's it called? Instead, it looks like the Altered Creation. That's fine with me. I'm not too worried about that. Game plan is still the same. We're going to punch and then once again, find Acerola with the computer search on the following turn. Draw attach and well we could play down the guzman hollow right now to get a special energy for the next turn so we can play the ace roll so i guess that makes most sense actually um we're gonna go ahead and get rid of an egg and a chorus have a chorus in the discard pile just in case we get end or something like that and we'll use it and we're gonna go ahead and grab ourselves our last triple energy so that is a little scary let's see what else is in here the other ray is in here all right so we actually have can set up a pretty good play on the next turn i'm gonna go ahead and grab a yeah i already have a spirit link I'm grab a float stone and then a second sky field isn't really necessary because we have one in hand so i think i'm just gonna grab just these two into the hand and then go ahead and hit our opponent's 
uh, ADP here for 150. So yeah, we can still pull off the Ace Roller play next turn, which is going to be our plan. We do plan to still Ace Roller next turn um, and heal off this Mega Ray that is about to get hit. There's a Guzma, so it looks like they plan to just ignore our uh, Mega Rays, bring it back up to ADP. So they're gonna go ahead and knock it out. Draw three prize cards. If they do knock out another GX Pokemon, they will actually win the game here. Um, so that's a little scary. I don't know if there's really anything we can do about it besides just play out the game the way it is. We could end them or look to go find an N, which would be okay. They do have a five card hand. We can make it a three card hand. Um, I'm almost not too concerned with needing to do that though because it is kind of all random cards in our opponent's hand. Um, but I could definitely go with the end play here if I wanted to. Uh, we could actually like, make a pretty big play this turn to get like fully set up. And go for the end. All right, so you know what? Let's go ahead and... Uh, hmm. Should I go for that? Should I go for the end here? We may as well end them out, right? Yeah, let's go ahead and end them out. We're gonna go like this. I'm going to uh, field blower away the... Floatstone there on our opponent's uh, Pokemon. I'm gonna go ahead and off the ball away. Uh, I'm gonna egg actually propagate. We don't wanna put too many items in the, in the discard pile. They probably still play Trash Alanche, so we have to be aware of that. Ultra Ball away this and this. Those two grab ourselves uh, Hoopa. I still have the computer search. Ideally don't wanna play it though. Go ahead and Hoopa. Search our deck for this guy and then Shaman get those all into the hand we're gonna go ahead and change some clothes i take that back thank you we'll go ahead and throw a float stone here a choice band here i'm gonna bench this one match that mega evolve and then shaman set up for four hopefully finding a via seeker they're hitting for 160 right now with trash alanche okay and then via seeker for the and we're gonna play the end, put them down to three. Hopefully they don't have Guzma plus another DDE, but uh, they might. And then we might just go ahead and lose as soon as the next turn. Gonna go ahead and special charge and set up before they potentially get like a float stone back into play and shut off our uh, abilities once again. So go ahead and get this set up in while we can. Five, six, no Ace of Roll, but I did put the float stone here. That is why I put the float stone on the active so we can move our active to the bench. Um, after this, if they do just hit us with the Luster of Downfall, we can just retreat them to the bench. Um, we won't get to use the what's it called, like I wanted to kind of set up for the plan, but it doesn't really matter because if they ever have Guzma plus DDE to knock out this thing, they could knock out a Shaman and win the game anyways because they did GX attack. Maybe we need to add Ranger into the deck. Uh, maybe that's kind of what I need to add into here actually is a Ranger uh, to deal with these ADPs. I think I might need to. This, this matchup feels pretty rough when they use the ADP, but if they don't use the ADP, uh, or if they don't have the effect of the ADP, I feel like this matchup would be just fine. Um, so I think adding a Ranger into this deck would fix that and shot probably should be added. Here we go. Great catcher. Double dragon. Maybe? Oh, maybe just the Silent Lab play. One card hand. We can go ahead and discard quite a few cards off our bench here. Gonna get rid of the Shamans. Um, we can't get rid of everything. We want to get rid of all of our Shamans and all of our Hoopas, but we can't. So we're just gonna get rid of both Shamans and a Hoopa. Last Hoopa is going to stick around. They do do 170, which is enough to knock it out. Um, and there's a Choice Band to the active, which is enough to knock us out. The Choice Band, just enough there, or just just over enough with the 230. Yeah, I think we need a Ranger in here to combat this matchup. Uh, if they don't have the ADP, I feel like it's fine, because Acerola will like outheal the damage they do. But uh, with the ADP's damage boost, it's just kind of too hard for us to keep up and uh, just kind of lose. So... Definitely need to add a ranger to this list, but that's going to do it for this video on the Mega Ray deck, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, be sure to give the video a like. If you're enjoying the content, be sure to subscribe. Leave your thoughts in the comment section down below. Have a good day. Thanks for watching, and peace.